for my car. It's been a minute, but yeah, here we are. And now it's lopsided. <laughs> but I just want to test it out. Oh my gosh, it looks so clear and nice. I just have to fix it. Oh Lord. Hi. Perfect. Oh my God, it looks so good. It looks so clear and good. Hi guys, so if you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I started the decluttering process at the beginning of the year. I stopped like around March, April, and now I'm picking it back up because the goal is to try and get the majority of these things done by December 2023. wondering why do i have all of this because i listen to my mother oh keep the baby clothes you know for maybe when your son has a baby one day you can hand down but this was too much Christmas ornaments, which I have some in the back to carry. Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Lisa. It looks kind of foggy, but guys, let me just adjust this. But basically, I dropped off the majority of the baby clothes and some other stuff. And I'm actually on the way to the market. That's why the car is packed and um which way am i going do i want to get lunch okay all right and hold on. over here is where they film some of the um what's that show oh god i can never remember what's that show that everybody likes with the young kids um oh my god i have it on the tip of my tongue if I remember, I'll just type it down here. But, yeah, I am on my way to the market. I am decluttering. You know what I just thought about? That I started the decluttering in January of 2023. And here we are on the last day of November um, 2023. So, from all this time, I've just been living life. And, and little by little, still decluttering. But everything has to be done this year i that's my goal like as far as decluttering yeah so i only have a couple more weeks left until the end of the december so, but i'm just taking it one day at a time because actually i had the whole year and i can't believe the whole year is up already but anyway i i want food food but i don't know if i want food food that means i want chicken so yeah I eat chicken every now and then now but now I feel like the chicken doesn't even have any taste or something I don't know what's going on um, hmm. I am much much happier when I cook my own food but I don't want to clean the chicken because I haven't cleaned chicken in a while except for the last sometime this year I bought chicken for the first time in years and cleaned it because if you know I'm more pescatarian yeah so I eat seafood and vegetarian stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get something to eat and then have, head on to the market. And I do have a small bucket of Christmas items to see who wants it. Because little by little, I'm getting rid of those too. I have another bucket because my mother all of a sudden 
says she doesn't have enough ornaments. So she wants some of the ornaments. Why? She has a lot. But anyway, and then she's like, oh, the ornaments that you took from me, I only took like five, if even. I know it's less than 10. I know that. So, but yeah, she's just trying to justify what, what, what is up it. But anyway, I digress. Okay. Okay, guys, so I just got curry chicken lunch special. And I, last time, the rice took, um, I just want to like to cook at home, but sometimes it is what it is. I'm gonna try and eat a little bit before I don't want to drive and eat. But voila! <laughs> I didn't get any cabbage today. So. I've had this shoulder back pain my whole left side of my body um, for the past month or so. So yeah, when I was at the beach, it helped a little bit. But I think it's how I'm sleeping also. But anyway. I'm just thankful, 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 thankful. <laughs> Who else get anything curry with white rice? Me. I don't like to white rice better than a rice and peas. If you know, then go. All right, I think I've had enough. So it took me a little bit longer plus I left late. There's something else I was supposed to do today, but anyway, it'll get done when it's supposed to get done. But don't spill this. All right. On the way we go. Let's go. So guys, guess who I just ran into as I was pulling out? My old manager from the little part-time job that I just quit before I went on vacation. It's like, hi. Yeah, it was like, uh-huh. <laughs> I would have stayed longer, but it's an easy job. It's an easy job once you get to know it, but it's just a little young people that I'm in a little attitude. And I'm just like, when you're an entrepreneur and you're working for yourself and then you have to go back to work for people or with people and, you know, working with people, it's uh, you, you have to have a, a, a good working environment. Let's put it like that. And I was like, I can't take this little stress for this amount of money, even though it's part time. Like I said, it was like a couple of minutes from my house. It was easy as far as that. The pay was OK. But for part time, you know, it's a skill I got to learn. I met, I learned a lot while I was working there. I won't say where, but the bottom line is that the people that I'm evil, my goodness, what is going on in this world? And it's just like power hungry. I already had enough of that corporate shit when I was, you know, excuse me, you know, when I was working in corporate world, that was on a whole different level. But this little job here, even though it's um, a chain all over internationally, it's not food or anything like that, but it's like, I told him, the manager just now, he and I were the only black people, but I told him, I said, listen, I prayed about it and it's time to peace out, yeah. And I actually quit before and he was like, no, no, please stay, you know, like, you know, but you know, I was just like, But I am thankful and grateful for the experience. I think I was there for about five months. And yeah. And it was kind of like interfering with my other stuff that I had to do a little bit. Like working out that schedule. So, um, why am I going this way? Ugh. That means I have to go take the other way or come off. Oh, boy. There is. Oh, oh no. I can go. I can go that way and take the long way. Oh, gosh. 
but um because i don't want to go down that other exit because it's busy right now but yeah guys i'm just i'm just thankful and grateful it did what it had to do in the moment and on to bigger and better things Okay guys, I'm trying to eat real quick before I have to go to the church meeting tonight, but I'm going to cook up something really, really quick. blackberry and some of the open ones with the keyboards were my favorites hi everyone it is saturday saturday and i just came from doing my bible study and it's always enlightening and um fun um to, to talk with um you know the ladies and talk about stuff but mm, most importantly talk about the word of god jehovah yes so i feel for some soup even though i already had lunch i don't feel like cooking i really really should be going to the supermarket to go get some food but it's just been a cold rainy day um it's um there's a big football game going on if you live in georgia half the i want to say 95 percent of people are watching the alabama versus georgia state i'm not a football person but i know it's happening i'm more my family is more soccer or football in other countries and um soccer and tennis over here all day every day but anyway guys it's a sad day um i did get a lot accomplished as far as decluttering a lot of stuff i even cleared out um some of the toys um that we had in the house that we just kept just in case we had anything and kids wanted to play with something i have some kind of toys but now i'm just going to donate the majority of it and just keep the most important things in the house for uh, memories and small buckets i've consolidated everything is in the garage um i decided to just give my mother back her the, the ornaments <laughs> that i took years ago and whatever just a few of them anyway so just give those back to her i am not going to i don't know it depends on how i feel about giving her the colors that she wanted because she has ornaments but um we'll see how much i have left over but definitely the ones that i took i'm giving it back to her and um it's a lot of stuff you don't realize what you have it's a lot of stuff and i'm so blessed and thankful for having it all these years it served this purpose with a lot of things that i'm giving away and donating but it's time to go it's time to go play about it's time to go okay guys so couldn't get any soup because the line was so long but anyway i stopped at the jamaican store next door to it Got some oil, some flour, some fish, can of ackee, some scotch bonnet pepper, some plantains, and some banana. Banana. Okay, so in here is looking like a hot mess, but I want to show you how. I condense a lot of stuff um, like in this bucket I put like a lot of the other smaller ones in here and I have some of the podcast stuff in there and I have a whole bunch of other podcast microphones and, and cameras and stuff in the office so now I'm thinking of maybe I need to um, put that bucket as just all the equipment stuff 
but then I have all these extra buckets. I have all these extra buckets. In here is a hot mess, but the goal is to bring it down, like a lot of these stuff down. And then once they're downstairs, out the door, out, out the door, out. This is, this is how the backyard is looking. Still needs to be cleaned up. Yep, but at least all the trees are down. Yeah. Yep. Hello. Here are some of the toys. Still have some stuff. Here are some of the um, cameras and equipments. Hey, where's the other camera? And guess what, guys? I have another Christmas tree with more ornaments. This is for the business. So, yeah. So, lots to figure out. So, so here I have baby blankets and baby sheets, which I have to keep one or two and donate the rest. Okay, so these two are for around the crib. If you know, then go. Um, even have a bed skirt for the crib. And then I found this. This is when he was in school. Had a little um, toddler bag. Stuff like this, you keep, you never know, right? So I'm saying, I'm keeping this baby blanket. You always need the fish net thing for the crib or bassinet. You know, for the mosquitoes and stuff. This was an arm, arm rest, like to when you're breastfeeding to rest your arm on back in the day. Yeah, I think I'll donate that too. And these are just sheets and um, ones receiving blankets, um, especially birth, you know, like when you, you know, feed in. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm keeping this and I donated all of this. So, here is the bucket of the baby clothes that I'm keeping. Yeah, guys, it's better. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday and I'm at. Starbucks yeah because I'm getting ready to do a video for you guys another video and you can tell I just rushed out the house I also went grocery shopping which I have right here <laughs> and I have lucky I just throw on the shirt um, from yesterday because I'm like I haven't taken a shower let me hurry up um, TMI let me hurry up and um, go out here um, before everyone because if you know then go like early time is the best time okay so anyway waiting to get my orders which is the um, peppermint mocha and um, they didn't have my banana cake so I got my coffee cake which is a second I shouldn't be eating these stuff but that's what I shouldn't be eating these stuff but, I shouldn't be eating these stuff, but that's what I want right now to do the video and also I only drink the peppermint mocha around the winter time but it's so good um, but yeah, a few of my favorites at expensive Starbucks. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end out today's video. This little walk. It's so windy and cold. But anyway, I'm going to stretch your legs. Until next time, go, 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 go. Go and take a walk. Here you go. Bye.